Tuesday night baseball now from Comerica now, Park in downtown Joel, Detroit, 2000, Michigan. Tonight, a matchup out of the Detroit. AL Central between the Kansas Tigers. City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Spencer Turnbull, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And Digging in now for Kansas City, number 18. Over number one here 18. in the early going. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Back for more from Detroit after this. Into the box now, Theo Jamison. He's coming off a three-hit ball game in Sunday's series finale. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. So here's how the Kansas City Royals are positioned defensively. And I'd like to focus on Salvador Perez, the man who dons the tools of ignorance behind the dish. He's a clubhouse leader. He's one of the best pitch framers in the game. He's like a soft blanket back there for this pitching staff. To the plate now is the designated hitter, number 11. number 11. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Jamison Tim, Tim, on Tim. the move. He's got it. A nice play there. My Two hold, away. Stepping into the box. The Theo right Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Jamison. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Fouled off. Simeon is off of first with two away. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2-1 home. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Waiting on it, the center fielder. And the inning is over. One left for Detroit. They won't make a dent in a 6 to nothing deficit. again number, number 18 no number hits 18. in three tries so far he struck out once here he comes on a ball and two strikes heading out towards shallow right Jamison has a three, beat three, on three. it and that's the second try out try of the try inning try Hold on and no next up for Detroit Theo the right Jamison he 15. flew out in his last at bat Theo. almost Matty almost Jamison. went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big what power else? he's feeling pretty good at the dish look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike nope. one and one And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. 
He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Ground ball move sent it, move back it, up the it. middle. Mondesi brings it in. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. Tigers get just the one. We're through six full. It's the Royals nine and the Tigers one. So next to the plate for the Royals, Salvador Perez. He went deep back in the fifth. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, forget about this one. Bob, Bob, Bowie. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So that was the third home run for these guys today. Yeah, Matty V. And hey, you don't see this very often, d -Roll. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Salvador. None out, runners at first and second. Skied into straightaway right. Jameson is there to put it away for route number one. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Man, this is a perfect Theo Jameson. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know, he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball laid off well below the knees. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him. And hey, that's part of the game. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis, now starting things for his now side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come oh, back yeah. in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't now get better. the call. But I Double love how zero. he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. The 1-0 is ball laid two. off for ball two. two ball. Boy, he just no looks time. locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Zero. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The 3-1. Skied into straightaway right. Soler is there. Two gone. The relay throw on to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 12 to 1 at the end of this one. The Kansas City Royals with a big 17 hit attack. Eric Skogland pitches his way to a team leading 12th win of the year. Spencer Turnbull couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.
MLB The Show's coverage of Wednesday Night and Baseball now, brings us to Comerica Park in downtown Detroit. Tonight, the Detroit. second of three to start the week Tiger. between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Tigers baseball is next. Daniel Norris is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. And when he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one, he threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings... Digging in, Theo Jamison. And the Tigers the trying to make this first inning Theo. even bigger here. Jamison. Here's the first pitch to him. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, I know we're getting ready for game two, but yesterday, man, road trip got off to a great start. They pounded the baseball, pitched, played defense. This team comes in riding high into game two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis, now head-to-head head head with Erasmo no, Ramirez. Baseman. He's a 333 hitter. He's taken him deep okay. once. Now that's popped up. O'Hearn over to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. And now a look at the hometown Tigers starting lineup in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? You know, I'm hoping to see Mike Moustakis turn it around. Watching his last game, he went 0 for 4, and it just looks like he's out of sync right now. Maybe this game is the game that gets him going. At the plate, number 22, and they're Back runners six. at the corners now. The first baseman. Runners on number first 22. and third, two away. Make the turn, find the ball. On a line, that's a base hit. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. the plate Nico Goodrum another first inning RBI opportunity baseman. for him here Nico. Goodrum. soft liner toward first and no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning so it's two runs on four base hits no errors and a couple of men left on we'll move on to the second inning here at Comerica Park Tigers are out in front two to nothing Standing in, Theo now Jamison. Back, right fielder, Theo Jamison. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, that's and that misses inside 1-0. The 1-0. Chopper foul. One out, nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brooks is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Digging in to try it again. Theo Jamison. He flew out in his last at bat. Jameson. From the belt, kicks and deals. Right. Oh, ran it in on the fists, nothing and one. Davidson, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on.
and it's one and two. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two-seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Nope. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Now a move over to first. Runner back safely. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two two one more time and that misses so it's a full count three and two. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Now the payoff pitch home. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue making him work out there the ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat in a double play situation. You kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone hoping for riding in once again number 18 runner in scoring position with Sugan. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. But that'll be off the right field wall. And that lead disappears with it as this is now a 3-3 ball game. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think... Digging in, Theo Jamison, who right looked to bounce Number back 50. after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he'll dive back in. From the belt, kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. With Merrifield next to hit, it's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. With Merrifield. Heading out towards shallow right. Jameson will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. That save for the third degree of the season for him, matching my career best for a season. The difference is he still has a chance to notch number 34. Another nice outing from him. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Detroit seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Drover Hagen claims the win out of the pen his first. Joe Jimenez records the save in his 33rd of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
live and on the air from the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit, Michigan. Today, it's an American League Central Division matchup between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Tigers baseball comes your way next. Sammy Belliard gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particularly good one. Lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss. He's a much better pitcher than that, and I think he's looking to at least... Coming to the plate now, number 18. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb number the last 18. week or so. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Tim, and that'll Tim. get down for a base hit. Hey, no runner, eat it. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. Striding into the box, Theo Jamison right took an field. 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Jamison. First offering on its way. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. These Kansas City Royals entering play this afternoon, guys. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They've split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. Tigers leave one, and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Jameson, right 0 for 1 15. for him here in this one. Theo Jameson. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Right. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. 0-1. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And he's safe. This catcher has an elite arm. But when you get that great of a jump at first base, it makes it a lot easier to steal second. And a fastball swung stand on up, and hit up. the second. Merrifield scoops it up. He's throw up. in time, and the side is retired. One left for Detroit. They still trail 1 0. In now, Theo Jamison. The right he got field. on top Number of one 50. and was a ground out victim Theo. last time. Jameson. First pitch of the at bat. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, and even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. The one-two. This is on the ground. Come over on, you can beat it. You can beat it. Right there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Coming to the plate now. Number 66. Number 0 for 2 66. on the afternoon so far. Here's the 0 and 2. High in the air out towards shallow right. Jamison waits on it. Makes the play. And there are two gone now. Digging in now, the Theo right Jamison, as he'll look to bring home that Theo. tying run from second with a base Jamison. hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. 
getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Ball, Ball one the taken just off the inside. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. No Ball, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. Here it is. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. So good work there from the Kansas City bullpen. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. KC leads this one two to nothing. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Theo Jameson. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Yeah, this might not have been what he expected. I'm not sure he expected to have to go seven outs to get the save. But, hey, he did. And he iced the victory. 5 nothing. the final score today. The Kansas City Royals led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Brad Ray with his fourth win this season. Sammy Belliard pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Number 65 turns in two and a third out of the bullpen to earn the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Friday night baseball on the show and, uh, and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Tiger. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. It's Tigers baseball and it's coming up next. Chris Costa will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? You know, Matt, he's looking to bounce back for a little bit better of a performance than his last one. Pitched less than five innings in his last one. Was able to come away with a no decision. I think he and his team are... The next twin up are hit Polanco. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Lifted in the air to right field. Jamison is after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down go the Twins in order. Twins nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Standing in, Theo Jamison. He'll get to take his first cuts right here. Fielder. Theo Jamison. First pitch of the at bat on its way nope. and no swing apparently oh, ball one and guys as we take a look at the twins at the start of play here tonight they come in here hoping to make it two in a row as they broke a three game skid with a victory last time out. Hey thanks Matt you know what you got to give this team a lot of credit they're on the outside looking in on the end of the slide and he comes up with a great catch to end the inning a fine sliding catch here will take us to break. And inning in the books, no score on the show. Well, there is some weather in the Detroit area as we begin the second. And for more on that, here's Heidi. Well, Matt, these conditions aren't really ideal for baseball right now, but I am hearing that they're expected to improve as the game progresses. The grounds crew told me between innings that the field's in good shape. They're going to continue to work on keeping it dry, but we should be in for more favorable weather later. Settling in now, Robbie Grossman, and he'll start out there half of the third, top of the order to follow. Robbie Grossman. In the air, out to right. Jamison giving chase. 
He gets there and makes the play for the first down. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. Now with the play for Hippolanco. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's set. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Jamison sprinting after it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One left for Minnesota. Home half of the third coming up, all even at two and two. Into the box now. Theo Jamison. The right fielder. Theo Jamison. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Around it, pick up the ball, pick up the ball. Picked up on a hop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. On now to the top of inning number four. Detroit is out in front, three to two. Stepping up now, Theo well Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Line towards center field. Buxton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So two runs on one hit and the one hit was a big one, the home run. Five innings complete. The Tigers lead it five to four. Here's Jonathan Scope now. And they're down to their final now four that, outs here, Dan. But that's, yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Skied into straightaway right. Jamison on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Twin strand a pair. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. And next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter, Theo the Jamison. Tigers. The right fielder, Theo Jamison. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage of it. You know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis, now. The He's back. hitless in three at-bats to this point. Mike. Set to deliver the 0-1. Pulled toward right center field. Kepler will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. We take a look at our line score here in the eighth. A lot of offense. Already six home runs between these two teams, and we may not be done yet. Riding in, number 22, a hit in two number official 22. trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. His put in play to the right side of the infield. The second for one, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue.
get the win on the heels of four home runs. Chris Costa earned his fifth win of the year. Joe Jimenez wraps it up for the save, his 34th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Afternoon baseball for your viewing pleasure on a fine Sunday afternoon from Comerica Park in Detroit. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. Tigers baseball is next. Spencer Turnbull gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. Dan, any thoughts? You know, Matt, his last one wasn't horrible, but this guy did give up five runs in his last start. He was tagged with the loss, and he's going to look to be a lot better in this one here today. Ready now, Theo Jamison. He's looking to get four. things going at the plate. The right it has not been Theo going his way of late. Jamison. Here comes the first pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pulled toward right center field. Come on, on the back. On the and back. that's in there. Base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. All right, get up that way. Good job. You get and that's sack. a beautiful job of executing a hit and run right there. Pretty interesting. Must have known he was going to try and get over the heart of the plate right there with something either fastball or something off speed because he was coming unglued. Oh, oh. Next for the Tigers, Brandon Dixon, and their the runners at the corners pick. now. Brandon Dixon. The set and the one two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Tigers come up empty in the first. We've played an inning at Comerica Park with no score. Well, there is some weather in the Detroit area as we begin the second. And for more on that, here's Heidi. Matt, light rain is in the forecast throughout most, if not all, of the game. But I've been told it's not expected to cause any delays. The grounds crew will just need to make an effort to keep the field as dry as possible between innings, especially the heavy traffic areas like the pitching. So striding forward now, John Andreoli, right as he'll get his first opportunity John. in this one. Andreoli. hit the other way out toward right field. Jamison is two, after two, it. Two. He gets there and makes the play for the first no down. Runner, no run. cut hold, cut hold. Leading off the inning, Theo Jamison, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Now the 0-1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's the first out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mitch now Garver. Batting. A hit Kepner. in two at bats Mitch for him at this point in Garver. the ballgame. A 1 1. Skied into straightaway right. Jamison is in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. And Rioli stands at second with no outs. Heading out towards shallow right. 
Jamison is in a few he steps did, he as he no takes running, it for no the running. first down. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Yeah, John Andrioli, right two outs and two runners John. aboard here in the Andrioli. seventh inning. Skied into very shallow right. Jamison is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Twins forced to settle for one. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Twins four, and the Tigers nothing. Leading off the Leading inning, Theo Jamison, and they'll the need him to field. get something going here. First Jameson. pitch of the at bat. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. up the middle. Buxton has to roam straight back but he has it for the first out. Well we've mentioned wow not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. Five nothing the final score today. The Twins led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Fernando Romero gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.